Don't think that way, Yona. I marvel at how relatively simple a task this retrieval process proved to be. It is almost as if someone deliberately set us on this path. You're overthinking again, Vice. But... I don't care if it's a trap. Yona's waiting for me, and I'm going. I see. Oh, both of you are in here. You're really gonna do it? The whole village is buzzing. They say you're gonna rescue Yona. It's true. This is my final journey. Hard to believe this is the end. I'll bring her back. I promise. Um... About that. What? N nothing Never mind. Popola just loves to worry. Anyway, you be careful. Yes, do be careful. I will. Watch over the village while I'm gone. I don't know, maybe I should have stopped and had another word with them. But no, no. They've they've made their peace. I think Yona might have just been happier if Nier had st stuck around at home with her in her final days. But he didn't, did he? He sure didn't. Should we harvest our crops? Probably. Ha. Ah, full of life. Maneer, of course, strips it out of him. Keep growing, I guess. They're alive at all, right? They're not totally dried out. So, there's still a chance something might grow. Nier might kill most of the plants, but he leaves a few. You never know when they might be, might be handy. Come on, there are at least three melons there. Well, there were, th there were exactly three. Just like there are three pumpkins here. And yet Nier just got one. His big clumsy hands are so used to crushing stuff that when he harvests the pumpkins, they... They just go to smash. He smashes them. We'll send one more... Letter to Ishmael. And be on our way, I guess. Oh, hey, I got the stuff for your kitchen. Hi. I brought all the stuff you asked for. Is this enough? Let me see. Yep. Yep, that's all of it. Here. Hope this qualifies as adequate compensation. This is more than I was expecting. Yeah, well, I really appreciate all the effort you went to. Take it, fool! It is an appropriate reward for our efforts. And you could stand to learn more appropriate ways of speaking. Even the pigs like Nier. You'd think by now dogs might be kind of scared of him, but nope. For folks like these, that Nier's been going through all this. Sup? You know, more or less. Yep, 
You know, we never did get back all the p parts of that old woman's shipment. You might say who cares, but I am pretty curious about what it was. I'm sorry huh? for all the trouble we caused you. Hey! You know, you smell kind of like my boyfriend. Your boyfriend smelled rugged and handsome, huh? <laughs> yeah, he did. Of course, that was a long time ago. Five years ago, poof, he just up and vanished. I keep waiting for him, but I have no idea where he went or if he's... Hey, wait a second! You're that guy who does whatever people ask him to, right? Well then, go find my boyfriend! Hey, people usually ask nicely. And I have no idea what your boyfriend looks like, much less where to find him. Well, he always wears this flashy gold necklace, so maybe you can start there. Um, please? Wonderful. Off we go on a hunt for a man with a gold necklace. Not the strongest of leads, that's for sure. Well. With all the other dumb, goofy stuff. Yeah, that's one of Nier's sort of most endearing quirks. How he runs off to do random stuff for people he doesn't know. It's that. Shame we never fixed the town's water wheel, though. But you want something, too? Hmm. That guy with the necklace, huh? I don't know where he is, but... You don't hear many good things about him. I'll tell you what, at this point, though, Nier should stop being distracted by everything and just go save Yona, you know? And yet... They say he figured out where Yona is. Everybody here has heard about Nier. They know about what he's going off to do. How you doing, what? kid? Yeah, I know. Truthfully, it's probably okay if you're just outside of it, but then again, probably not. I shouldn't say that. It's sort of reckless of me. I don't think I'm ever going to finish that. That's too many broken lenses. I still have no idea where a pink moonflower seed would be. Like, where in the world would you find something like that? We definitely can find the great tree piece. Where's that guy who needed the boat fixed? Somewhere by the port here, wasn't he? Is it you? Hi. Here. Much appreciated. Now I can get back to business. Here's some cash. I'll let you know as soon as I uh, need my floor swept or a toilet cleaned. <laughs> oh, I forgot you were that jerk, weren't you? Yeah. I mean, he wasn't quite as rude as the... Well, no, he was definitely the rudest one. Ruder than the girl who just asked us about her boyfriend with the gold necklace. Where do you think that guy might be, anyway? I was kind of hoping he'd just be here. You know, we just might happen to run into him somewhere. Kind of like with that, uh... Actually, yeah, there was a person who had hired us to come out here, wasn't there? They were, like, up here or something? No, they were not up here. Where were they? I want to say they were somewhere rather high up. Oh, it was you guys. The whole family. Hello! Did you? I assume this is a son from a previous marriage, then. Um... Hey there, long time no see. How you doing? Great, thanks. My freesias are selling like hotcakes. Good to hear. Hey, who's that? That's my wife and son. Ah, good to see you found someone in the end. Yeah, it took some time, but I was finally able to move on. Oh, that reminds me. Are you looking for work? Always. What do you need? I have a customer in Fossad who needs a Frisia, and I was hoping you'd make the delivery. My customer runs the material shop over there. I know it's a bit out of the way, but... It's no big deal. I'll take the job. Thanks! 
Well, it's a good thing, because if your girlfriend was still alive, Nier would have murdered her a couple days ago, and everyone she knew, and her family. And Nier doesn't even care, does he? He doesn't even care. Wonder how many Yonas he killed that day, huh? Well, fortunately, we were about to sail to Fossad anyway. Not sure why I just got a fishing tip, but I don't need a fishing tip anyway. Let's go. I wonder how you do get those moonflower seeds. Do you remember that man? It was the one who came to meet his lover at the airy. Oh yeah, that was him, wasn't it? Oh, neat! And when did that happen? It sounds kind of romantic. It didn't work out. Yeah, and you know, and kid, let's not talk about the airy. Hey. What are you doing in the middle of the desert? Oh, just tracking wolves. They've been on the move lately, so I was curious. Oh, well, uh, be careful, right? Is that...? Yeah. The girl who was almost killed by her lover. There can be no reason for her to be wandering alone in the desert. I'm sure there's a reason. Grown-ups always have reasons for stuff like that. It's a bit of a simplistic analysis, but that's I shall bear that in mind the next time something seemingly meaningless occurs. There's a flying shade. I mean, not that we haven't seen flying shades before, but never one, you know, out here. What is this? Well, it's a shade, obviously. We finally hit it, you know, get one blow against it, at least. Fortunately, it was a pretty weak shade. But yeah, it's a good, important thing to keep in mind, Vice. Humans are always attribute meaning to seemingly meaningless things. Strange, though, that that girl was out here, huh? Probably should have used the warp, the sand warp thing. Anyway, there's still wolves around. I thought we killed all of them. Wait, why is near poison? I thought it hit Kaine. Well, whatever. We come prepared. Nier always comes prepared. Another scorpion. It's a bit of God! I swear this desert's infestation of these things has gotten nothing but worse. Guys, don't worry about fighting these particular shades. Once the Shadow Lord is dead, all of them will be gone. Forever. I mean... Right? The magic of this city never quite wears off, but you do get used to it after a while. So I guess what I'm saying is, it does wear off. It does. Please tell me we're almost there. I can't stand too many more circuits around this place. You know, especially now Nier is getting antsy. He has places to be. Specifically the Shadow Lord's castle. Hey. You expecting a Frisia? Oh my. This certainly brings back memories. Memories of what? Of many things, both pleasant and sad. I used to live in the area, you see. Oh. Then I suppose I should tell you. That it's been destroyed? Yes, I... I know. The little girl who lived next door to me used to love her freesias. We used to put them in our hair and... Anyway, one day she was attacked by a shade. Before I could do anything, she turned into a monster. I don't think the adults believe me, but I know it happened. I know it. Anyway, that's enough of that. Thank you for the flower. She's become a shade. How terrifyingly cruel. Should we tell him that his lover's a, 
a shade now? I think that's a bad idea. Yeah. That shade we killed those years ago. That was that was the Frisia woman. Frisia woman. Yeah. yeah, nice seeing you. I just want to buy a single crystal. It's nothing to me now. Now with all the money that I have. We'll drop off the mask and guess we'll stop back in Seafront. Who was it who asked for that mask? Oh, it was this guy. Thank you. Oh. oh, great benefactor, please hear our supplication. What is it? The wolves of Deltar City. The wolves of Deltar City, a devastating blow, and we are just starting to rebuild. However, the scale of the construction was of the destruction was massive, and we find ourselves running low on metal and wood. We need to acquire twenty pieces of iron ore, twenty pieces of clay, and twenty logs. Please, O oh mighty one, aid us. Yeah, all right, I'll do it. Just stop calling me Mighty One. Thank you for lending an ear to our plight. Well, who asked for the parts for the mask? I should have brought more logs, though, but... Um... Yeah, I don't have enough of any of these things. Especially iron ore. I thought that I could have sworn I just carried that everywhere with me. Well, fine. Actually, hold on. What are I doing? That's not what I went there to ask about. It must have been this guy who asked. Hey, I've got your things. Now I can create the mask. Oh, thank you very much. That manner of s what manner of ceremony is this mask for? The king shall wear this mask when he is pondering a new rule. That's a pretty specialized mask. Here's your payment, by the way. The most useless kind of quest. Anyway. Anyway. You know what? Now nah, we'll go on foot. Nier gets antsy when he has to stand still for that long. You know how it is. I'm just thinking about all this stuff. I mean, Nier acknowledges the destruction of the Airy, but he doesn't like... I don't know, it's like he doesn't fully grab... What? Both of you guys want something, huh? We have a problem. A great number of people have gone missing in sandstorms lately. That's not good. You have any idea why? No. The soldiers even investigated, but they didn't find anything. Troubling. Excuse me, sir, I have an urgent request. What is it? We've received word that bandits are breaking into the Baron Temple. However, the rules prevent us from entering the temple and dispatching the intruders. Therefore, we would like you to eliminate the thieves in our stead. Finally, a job with some killing. Please be careful. It is bad enough that the bandits are in our most sacred place, but if they were to touch the seal... What seal? Legend tells of a powerful shade that has been sealed away in a section of the temple. If they stumble across it during their search for treasure... Hmm, yes. That would be bad. And for the bandits as well. Okay, so we have to hurry. Got it. Well... Jeez. 
This is exactly the sort of thing you'd expect to happen. Just as he's about to go save Yona, suddenly, everyone everywhere he goes is asking him more than ever to do all sorts of random stuff for them. Typical, isn't it? I guess that's just life, though, right? I mean, maybe not, but maybe. Could be. Very possible. I would not discredit the possibility of that being just life. Anyway, what fun. a headache. What is? We've not the time to worry about random bandits. The temple is really important to the masked people. Then perhaps they should station some guards at the entrance. There's probably a rule about that. Hell, they can't even go inside the place. And thus, my headache. Stop bitching and get moving. Everybody in Facade seemed kind of depressed. They were attacked by wolves, and their queen was dead. Everyone in the city really loved Vera, didn't they? Yeah. We should help them if we can. They've earned that much. You're right, Kaine. For a second there, I wondered why it was running. And now I know why. See, I love that Kaine, you know, still has this kind of sympathy for the city. But hold on. Yeah, there she is. What's up? Why are you standing here? Hey. Hey, I remember you. You still tracking wolves? No, I've moved on to Shades. They've been pretty active lately. Huh. Well, be careful, right? She is closer to the village now. You sure it's not just your imagination? Are you kidding? She was on the far side of the desert before. But I fear that is not enough reason to detain her. But why, why should we detain her? She has every right to do what she wants. Well, not really. She only has the right to do the things the rules don't forbid her from doing. And I just have this feeling... Well, I don't know. Wherever these people who are going missing are, I have a feeling they're out here somewhere. You know, in the sandstorm? And whatever reason they went missing, it probably has something to do with, you know, near. But... Okay, now what? Yeah, just out in the sandstorm in general? Well, fine, I'll, I can look around the sandstorm. I've looked around this place plenty before. Shades! But, uh... Well, what's out here? Anything? I mean, sandstorms, of course, but... You know, it's very possible the people are just going missing out here because there are shades attacking them in the sandstorm. Or maybe there's something down here in the former wolves' den. I feel like when there's trouble, it's often here. Just, just a hunch I have. And it might be totally unfounded, I admit, but I'd like to think that there's something to it. That's why I thought it. Nope. Nothing here. Wait, was that? No. It was a nothing. Fine. Into the, uh, temple we go. I have this hunch that maybe why people are disappearing is because there's a giant shade that occasionally appears in the sandstorm. I just have this feeling it might be one of those. After all, it doesn't need to be a gloomy day, because it's always gloomy in the middle of this eternal sandstorm. How is there always a sandstorm raging here anyway? Like, how does that work? In fact, I would think that it, you know, wouldn't work. I suppose that this is a sort of spiritual successor to the haunted wasteland from Ocarina of Time, isn't it? Well, anyway, if there are a bunch of stupid bandits in this temple, then fine. It's only right, it's like the only area that Nier didn't revisit. Hmm? Someone's out in front of the temple. Help! Help! You one of the guys trying to bust up the temple? 
Why should I help you? The, there's a huge shade inside. We were just looking for trees. Wait, for trees? We we're just looking for treasure. I mean, um, anyway, it's huge. I made it out, but my fellow thief. I mean, uh, my friends are still in there. It seems the worst case scenario has come to pass. Screw these guys. They make their bed, now let them shit in it. That shade is as big as they claim. It's too dangerous to let it live. Let's go in and take care of the shade. Yeah, it's probably a good attitude. I suppose you haven't been here before, have you, uh... Have you, em Emil? It's a horrible place. You don't want to be here, really, but... I never noticed that second story before. Anyway, where might a giant shade be? You think that sort of thing would be kind of conspicuous? But I'm not seeing any giant shades. I remember these rooms, them and their rules. Fortunately, we killed the shades who were making the rules. Didn't we? Didn't we? Oh no. If it's just shades, I can deal with it. As long as I don't have to destroy more of those magic blocks. See, that was not Leaping Rabbit. Because I didn't leap, I just rolled. Alright, there we go. You guys can come in now. Oh my god, I wasn't expecting another one of these. I take it this door doesn't open. I took it correctly. I didn't realize what I was agreeing to here. We should be saving Yona right now instead we're doing this crap. I swear. It's always how it is. You always get sidetracked by random unnecessary stuff. Isn't that life? You have a problem you need to face, but instead a bunch of random other things just pop up, and there's no real reason not to do any of them, but you just... Well, we won't be a stationary owl, okay? All right, now what, there's just one left of our constant sprinting contest? Well, our sprinting contest is ended. Yeah, if these are just killing shades, that's what Nier does best. You don't need to try and set it up like it's some big challenge for him, you know? Yeah, Kaine never had to deal with this stuff. She just teleported around. I mean, if, actually, she just got kidnapped by the shade that lived here. You know, I'm sure that she'd love to tell you all about that one, uh, Emil. And so Nier died, not saving his daughter, but doing some random stupid crap. That's how life goes. It's never the things you think are gonna do you in. Like I said earlier, it's like how Patton... I think it was Patton. It's how Patton died in a car accident after the war. The war didn't kill him. No. Traffic did. Really? Oh, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Oh, I, you're right. I moved for like a little bit quickly for like a second there. My bad. This is going to be, this one is going to be the death of us, I swear. And they all missed. Fortunately, I can use this attack. This doesn't register as sprinting, even though what is it if not sprinting? All right, just one more guy, huh? Sure, come here. Or don't. It doesn't matter. Oh wait, there's still one right there. Okay. And that takes care of that. No sprinting involved. 
Oh, hey guys. I guess the magic barrier keeps them from just teleporting in, you know? Okay, now that we're through all those, let's go find this giant shade that's been unsealed. It's probably down here somewhere, you know? It's just my guess. Um, or not. Strange. Oh, no. <sighs> okay, fine. We'll follow some more of their stupid temple rules. As long as I don't have to destroy magic boxes without getting hit once, I can deal with it. Yeah, even if it's this, I can deal with even this. Sure would be nice though if, uh, you know, Kaine and them were here, wouldn't it? Wow. This thing would already be dead if only Nier could use his magic for what it's supposed to be used for! God! Or God! Ugh, I guess. Isn't it? It just feels so weird to have these arbitrary constraints put on you, you know? All right, we defeated the tough one. Oh, and left a elaborate machine. I still wonder what these machines the shades drop sometimes could be. I really have no idea. Uh, another rule. Whenever you think you're done with one rule, there is always another one. The last time we didn't have to unseal all of the doors. Surely it'll be that way this time, too, right? Surely. Right? Come on. No, no, it's not. <sighs> okay. That's... I'll deal with it. Yeah, let's go through here. What's this room got for us, huh? Is this where the giant shade is sealed? Or was sealed? You think that your friends trapped inside, I'd be able to find them. You'd think that a giant shade terrorizing humans wouldn't exactly be the hardest thing to locate. Oh, so I can't evade. Okay, fine. I can still jump, but not more traditional forms of evasion. Just... I swear. Okay, fine. No, we're gonna... You see how bad it is if you can't evade? Like, Inir is in an infinite pain and loop of pain now. Quit it, you filthy! This must be so demoralizing for him, because he's so used to just charging right through these guys, and instead he's, he, he can't, he's all these stupid, random, Arbitrary rules! They're I evaded! I evaded! Because it's just what you do to avoid, you know, taking all this all this pain all the time. It's what you do to, to avoid that, you know. I hear you can't do it! This, you know, if I have to fight this giant shade with some arbitrary rule, then yeah, you know what? It is going to be just about impossible. But if you let me fight it the way it should be fought, you stupid god bound by your stupid bloody rules, then you know what you're gonna do? I can't do it. And it'll be your fault. You people who sealed it here for putting in place all these darn rules! Oh, there's still one left. I didn't realize there was one left. Won't be for long. 
It's probably just wondering, like, why is Nier attacking the air around me? He's circling around me without actually attacking. This is this guy I heard so much about. I really, I guess it could be thinking that Nier just killed all of its shady buddies. Uh, I tell you what. Hi, guys. Thanks for teleporting in and helping me. I really appreciate that. Come on, come on. Nope. Still not going to open. Why do I even expect that there'll be anything over there? I, I really have no idea, you know? Oh, wait a minute. We're... Oh, wait, hold on. Was there something there? Yeah, there was. What is it? Oh, yeah, we need some of that stuff. Help them repair their city after the wolves attacked the city. Oh, boy. Well, there are worse things to find, right? Yeah, probably. For example, the shade. Well, it certainly would be worse to find if we had to fight it with some rule. Some arbitrary rule, like, oh, you can't... You can't turn your head to the right or something like that. Oh, God, this was that room... where we couldn't use physical attacks, wasn't it? Yeah, and that's still the rule here, huh? I see. Oh! Fine. I'll do what I have to do if it's just against these schmucks, huh? No biggie. This doesn't count as wielding a blade. It counts as magic, right? Yeah, it does. Okay, good. Yeah, you know, I kind of wonder why these shades, even, how these shades even got put here in this way. But see, here's an example of those kinds of unpleasant challenges I was talking about. Of which, the, you know, like the, the video game seems to be sort of designed around having the player do all these sorts of tedious things. And it seems to be consciously doing that. It doesn't strike me as the result of bad design, it strikes me as the result of a unusual vision which happens to involve doing things in a kind of, uh, you know, tedious way. Which certainly goes against typical design philosophies, but of course we can't go through there, of course. Why would I even think about trying that? Well, you know, Kaine, at least you're not going to get captured by, a. Uh, by uh, shades this time, right? Right there, Kaine? Well, how, I'm sure you, How about you tell uh, Emil all about how that happened? Hold on, is that door at the end of the hallway open? I just have this feeling that it'll be somewhere on the other side of that. No. But it couldn't be on the other side of that, because if it were, the thieves would have already opened that door. Maybe because they touched the seal, all these other doors... Maybe the reason all the challenges are back in place is because of all those other doors. Oh, well, this is an impressive looking room. What do we got here? And what is with all these magic words appearing? What are they? What on earth does that mean? There's certainly a big shade at the other end. Really, what's the time for getting monkey? Is that some specific form of magic they're forbidding? You know what, forget it. I'm just gonna go straight for this guy. As I probably should be. Yep, just wait a few seconds. There we go! Oh yeah, it definitely did. Here are the thieves that were killed. This is the giant shade that was sealed away here, huh? I admit, that is a pretty uh, intensive, uh, you know, it's a pretty nasty thing that giant shade is. Just look at it. I still don't know what time for getting monkey means, though. It sounds kind of like a slur. 
a rather arcane slur that doesn't quite work in English, because it's probably been translated from some other language. Well, I took it out. I see that it was sealed in here with lots of other shades. And I definitely do think that whatever it was, it's what um, brought back all of these other magical, you know, rule challenges. Maybe time forgetting monkey means we couldn't use any continues. In which case, how does that apply to Nier himself? I don't know. Come on, Kaine, you can take a guy out on your own. And she did! So this is the shade that was sealed away. That was intense. No wonder why they sealed that thing up. Still, it should not have been our fight in the first place. True enough. Let's grab the surviving bandit and bring him back to Fossard. I don't know, aren't these corpses tarnishing their holy grounds? Like, shouldn't we remove these? I mean, I think we should, but whatever. I mean, dead or not, heck, you could even say we're not going to bury them, we're just going to throw them in the desert, but come on. I'm getting out of here before those guys get back. Oh, I'm afraid you came up with that brilliant scheme a little too late. God damn it. Really? Oh, knock it off. Shut up, you. Really? Do you realize who you're dealing with? I'll get you. I'll get you for this. Hey, asshole. There's a kid back in town who wants to play marbles, but he's too short. Think you can help? That was some excellent restraint on your part, hussy. I expected a foul-mouthed tirade of epic proportions. Crown up your index book. You guys done? Then let's tie this guy up and report back. Hey. Heard you threw that bandit in the clink. Probably better than he deserves. The seal was open when we got there, but we managed to defeat the Shade. Thank you. I knew you were up to the task. The king sends this payment with his compliments. Okay, I'm glad the king's doing well. Do you have any idea where these people are? Nope. 